So how do you go from 18 million in the stadium? Yeah. The stadium can say, okay, all right, let's say I'm undercutting the concessions. Let's say yeah, you you really, you really undercut that a lot. I, I tell you. So you think the average person spent I about think the average dollars? person in, 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 at a D1 college like that sitting in the stands is playing about that because they're not there by themselves. So they're probably spending about 50 you know, fifty dollars per per person. So you said in Michigan, Ann Arbor, Michigan, a typical afternoon, they might bring in close to ten million dollars. Oh, easy. Okay, times six is sixty million. Yeah. And then you look at paraphernalia, yeah. revenue. See, that's sort of that hundred million. TV, the jerseys, the t TV, the sponsorship. Um, you know. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, exactly. So they they're getting towed tow off. And now that we're older. And and get to see what we missed out on of all that money that these colleges are bringing in, and they had even with that man, they got the nerve to uh, you know now split your scholarships up by year. Well, yeah, that's just this ridiculous. I mean, you know, uh, when we was there, it was annually renewable scholarships. Well, I didn't have one. I know. I I'm just letting, I'm yeah. just letting you know. We had a full ride too, but yeah. it was annually renewable. Okay. If mommy didn't sign that paper every every yeah. mom and daddy didn't sign that paper yeah. at the end of the year for the next year, there was no scholarship. Yeah. No, people don't know those were year to year contracts. Yeah. And I can tell you some of how some of that began, mm -hmm. and some of that really was pushed into force. Yeah. After. Uh, organization called the Syracuse Eight. I mentioned it last time uh -huh. when they ended up boycotting the football season when Ben Schwartzwater wasn't sure. doing something they wanted, yeah. uh, and they boycotted. Well, after that, they really pushed this idea of annual renewable scholarship. Yeah. And Syracuse, for about twenty years, uh, had this unspoken rule that they wouldn't bring in more than six black freshmen in every football class, wow. so that you never would have quorum. Yeah. Now they're going to deny it, and they're supposed to deny. It. I love my orange, yeah. but the bottom line is for twenty years. They have no more than any more than six black freshmen in every class. Wow. So that if ever there was an issue, it was it was very easy for them to mm -hmm. squash it. And of course in business that's what you have to do. Yeah, that's true. Now here's the thing. We, we talk about business versus the sport. Yeah. Business versus academics. I, uh, and then this thing comes up this week about the recruiting at University of Louisville. Yeah. Now, there's a couple of different schools of thought, and one of them is from some of my people, my man Jose, Jose, and if I called you the wrong name, I know you'll scream on me, but Jose in Syracuse, he basically said, look, this is grown folks' business, this is what they do, and quite frankly, you know, we need to get over it. Yeah. And this happens all the time. I'm just kind of curious when Coach, Coach Tanya just uh, joined us, and I can't wait to get her feedback on the story. But uh, grown folks business, I mean, it's just kind of the way it goes in, in that world and you just accept it how it goes. Lionel, what, what do you think about it? 